Okay, so I've mixed about 12 ounces or so for these coasters. I've got it on a hard board so that I can lift it and move it around, but um, I've got some black diamond, midnight blue, and this is counterculture artist resin. The blue and green label, equal parts A and B. Next about six minutes. So I'm going to pour this into the center of the mold first. I'm going to do this like a puddle pour, which I typically don't do, so this will be kind of a new experiment for me to see how this goes. <clears throat> this is mica powder, the other is just uh, alcohol inks. So I'm just going to see how they react with each other in the different ways, you know. I wanted to do something blue and silver for the holidays, so this one is inspired by that. So the next one is uh, Blue Resin Pigment Paste. So it's a little bit, not, it's not quite as dark as that uh, Midnight Blue. You can see though it's still transparent feeling. So I'm curious to see how this pans out. But I want it pretty deep blue, so we're just going to see. This one is just alcohol, ocean alcohol ink, so it's the lightest. And I think I'm going to add a little macro pearl to that, see if I can put just a bit of shimmer into it. So I moved away from my resin so I wouldn't let that powder go flying through the air. I'll have clear left. 
And I'm gonna pop some bubbles. I like to use my uh, embossing tool to, around the edges so that I don't get uh, da damage the molds at all. So, you know, things will start coming towards the center, and that's good. I'm happy about that. <clears throat> I'm going to take my... Uh some silver glitter snowflakes. They're sparkly. So the only thing is I really don't know when to put them in. I don't want them sinking. And it might be okay if they did sink, but I'm gonna wait, I think, on the resin just a bit. I'm gonna try to put this in and see what happens. that has one side that's better than another, so. I'm not going to worry too much about it. There's not really a whole lot I can do. So, I can try to lift it up, but it's going to go back in anyway. And that just made the other side sink, so. Um, it's okay. They're pretty and they'll probably sink over time but it was an experiment I wanted to try it see what happened so I'm gonna cover these up and let them sit okay so it's been overnight I wanted to show you um, I had one area that the the thing was curved and it sunk down but that's okay and you do feel the glitter. I did put resin over it, but I feel the texture a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is come back and put a little thin coat of resin over it to seal in that uh, glitter stuff. Cause I want the coaster to not uh, have any flaws as far as putting hot things on it or whatever. So it's, it's a little transparent through the center, which is kind of pretty. A little bit lighter blue. All the deep blue on the edges came inwards and kind of 
muted all those blues together which is really I wanted it to be basically blue and white so that was totally okay and there's the back side which is pretty it uh, uh, you know the front side is really the most beautiful part but it looks pretty on the back as well so I'm going to place this back in the mold and like I said do one little thin coat of resin on top to seal it and I'll probably definitely paint the side silver on this to go with the snowflakes so I hope you enjoyed this I'll try to show a video at the end of the finished pieces thank you for watching I'll see you next time bye bye Okay, so I'm using my <clears throat> Moloto liquid chrome pen and I've done the four. I was going to do the sides. I'm just doing the top round edge of here because it's not going to really be used on this side and I don't think it needs all the silver there. So I have to keep it on the table and I just kind of use my pinky to guide my along on the edge kind of holding it so that you can kind of keep your steady hand to go around all those curves this pen is really awesome it's just it literally looks like chrome, so it's excellent. It's in my Amazon link below my video. And I actually got the um, snowflakes on Amazon too. They're not officially ornaments, I don't think. They don't they didn't have like a hole for ornaments, but they have lots of holes because they're the snowflake, so maybe you just use it you know, one of the holes from the snowflake. And then I just kind of go around that top rim just to make sure that it's covered all the way up to the edge. I have a cellophane confetti flying all over the place so <laughs> finishes off the edge really pretty I've got some dog fur flying around but anyway that is the silver liquid chrome I think I was holding it upside down. And then just finish them off and then it is oil based so you have to let it dry. I had one set that there was a couple of bubbles right on the edge. And so it's not perfect but I, I don't ever say that any of my stuff is perfect. So um, I just kind of let the chrome sink down into the little holes. And there's a little bit of imperfectness with it. But you definitely have to, uh, you, you need a steady hand to get that edge to, to look right. So, I, like I said, I use my pinky and kind of hold my pinky against it while I'm going around the edge but I lay it down on a flat surface. I, if I hold both of them I'm going to be shaky. 
So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I think they turned out quite lovely. Very lovely. So please give me a thumbs up, comment, and uh, share your thoughts. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the bell in the bottom right to get notifications when I post new videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye-bye.